Someone with discipline is able to achieve whatever he sets out to do. And because he has this skill, he's 90% to his end goal, as most goals such as learning code and becoming a programmer just require discipline and hard work. And these things called willpower and disciplines, though very powerful tools, are quite rare in the world today. It's the reason why so many people quit, why people are weak, and why people never achieve what they set out to do. However, in this video, I'm going to show you what discipline is and how how to build discipline and willpower while learning to code. Simply put, willpower are just non-habit actions that take mental effort to do. That mental power could be to do an action or avoid an action. For example, let's say you're trying to lose 20 pounds. You stumble into the kitchen and you see a cookie on the table. It's going to require a lot of brain power to avoid eating the cookie and a lot of brain power to eat something you don't enjoy like broccoli and rice. And in face of the resistance of the cookie and eating that thing you don't really want to, that's where discipline is found. So the first way to build discipline while learning to code is your sleep. Sleep is so freaking underrated. I can't believe we don't talk about it enough. And especially in coding culture where it's promoted to lack sleep and code until 4 a.m. I believe this is one of the main reasons why you are likely not that disciplined. And if there's one thing you get out of this video, it should be that you should sleep more. If you are well rested and have slept, say, seven to nine hours, you will have enough energy to resist the bad actions and do the right actions such as coding. And when you have bad sleep, when you don't sleep enough, you don't have enough energy and you don't feel like doing the disciplinary things. Like when you're tired, right? Like what do you feel like doing? You feel like going to sleep, eating food, and not doing shit. So by fixing your sleep, AKA sleeping seven to nine hours, this isn't a sleeping video, but I'm just telling you, if you can sleep more, you will see more discipline in coding. The next way to build discipline while coding is to focus on a singular goal. At the start of my programming journey, I had like 10 freaking goals. I wanted to be a great programmer. I wanted to start a business. I wanted to do social media. I wanted to work like 50, 60 hours a week to make money. However, having many goals at once hinders each one. What you must realize is that the more you focus on a goal, the better you're going to do. And by focusing on many goals at once, you're unable to allocate enough time to a goal to see the best results. So rather than scattering your goals, pick one to like three goals in your life and stick to them. My goals right now is my relationship with my fiance, programming and business. And I found that focusing on just three goals is ideal, but if you can just put that to one, even better. And what you will realize is that working every day and coding a lot actually becomes easier because you have that singular goal rather than a bunch of things to do. The next way to build discipline while learning to code is picking the right level you are in. A total noob move for programmers is to pick the hardest thing and start doing it. For example, they start learning React before JavaScript, which is just insane. Look, you should have that end goal of being a React developer, Next.js developer, and starting a business or getting a high paying job, but realize the position that you're in. You can't be a React developer if you don't learn JavaScript first. And you can't be a JavaScript developer if you don't learn the basic programming concepts before it. And by knowing the right level that you're in, it makes it easier to stay on track with your discipline because it's not too hard. So if you are new to coding, maybe instead of starting right away with React, start at a very low level that you are comfortable with, but is just challenging enough. So for example, if you're learning JavaScript and you've never done for loops, maybe study how to do a for loop. And then from there, you can like move up. Maybe after learning for loops, you can start working on asynchronous functions, um, databases, connecting to an API. There's ways to build up on top of that. And what you will realize if you slowly build up the tolerance and you just progress slowly, the discipline is much easier easier to acquire. And the final way to build discipline, and this is total bro science, is the rewards that you give yourself. I love gifting myself stuff. I'm a huge tech fan, so I use that to my advantage. So every time I finish a project, a business venture, or I accomplish something that's difficult, I get myself something. And it doesn't have to be expensive, right? Like you could buy yourself a bowl of ice cream or get yourself a new mug. But by rewarding yourself, you feel motivated to stay on track and stay disciplined rather than falling off the wagon and giving up. And that's it. Those are the four ways I have built discipline while coding. And if you use these, I promise you, you will build discipline and see the results that you want to see. And if you want programming coaching, I'll leave that in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out the next video on the screen.